Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Pedal and Metal and welcome to my channel. Today I have a box that I've been looking for for a long time. And this to me is a mystery just the same as it is or will be for you guys. Um, this box, I know for a fact this tub has not been opened in 20 years. Uh, minimum 19 years. So this is going to be a uh, mystery to me of what's all in here. I just know for a fact this is the box I've been looking for and I couldn't find. And I had mentioned this set before. And so here we go. We're going to check this out. It's a 20 car set. And you can see it's got dust on it. This was, uh, I had this displayed years ago. I probably will just break it open and get the individual cars out. It's got some pretty, pretty interesting ones. This Targa Porsche I wouldn't mind having there, and um, this Camaro is interesting. This com called Camaro Wind. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Quite a few of these I don't. I don't think I have in my collection. This truck, the Thunder Roller, is really cool. It's interesting how it has the the old school wheels on the back and some newer ones on the front. Anyway, we'll move on. We've got a lot to look at here. Fifties cruiser set. I don't remember buying that, but there it is. I don't know for whatever reason. Uh, police interceptor badge, and I know there's should be yeah, there's two. I remember buying these, and then there's two inner decals there. I want to put them in my eBay store. Ferrari. Uh, this is from a calendar. Ferrari picture there. I'll just do these in chunks since I'm not sure what's all in here. We have, uh, I don't know if I need to zoom up here or not. Let's take a look and see. Probably could zoom up a little bit. Of course, I have this from the other one, the 96 F 150, Scorching Scooter from 97, Jaguar XJ40, and it's a shame the from 96, the card's all bent up. White Ice Series, Shadow Jet, that one's called. Interesting. But yeah, some of these are really dusty. For whatever reason, there's a whole bunch of these just in that theme of the Hot Wheels. There's the race team, there's a 67. Camaro 63 Vet, the Shelby Cobra, Race Team Series 3, Hummer, another Race Team Series 4, Mercedes, and Baja Bug, which is also in that similar in that theme. That's probably why I had these all grouped together. I'm not sure where this came from, but it's a Hot Wheels car. Oh, it came with a thing of oil, I think, one time when I bought oil. Still sealed in the pack from 1998. Ford GT90, that would be a good one to detail up. That's really cool looking. The Volkswagen Golf, which this is, I've been looking for for a long time. I knew I owned this one. I don't, I think I'll probably will crack that open and put that in my case of other Golfs. Uh, tail dragger, which I, you guys seen in the other videos, but these two I don't I don't have I don't I know for a fact I don't have those anywhere else. That's what there's a whole bunch in here of cars I've been looking for that I knew I had I just couldn't locate them. Two BMW 850Is. Now for whatever reason, the top one you could open the doors on the bottom casting you could not do that. And the taillights, the way they're done, is different too. The top is painted. The bottom is like a plastic insert. Kind of cheesy. What's the date on that one? 1991. And this is from the top one. The solar one's from 95. So, I, I knew I had more. I knew I had more. And the same with this one here. I knew I had this. Uh, why does it say 50s retro original one? Street beast. Anyway, it's the 
doesn't even say anywhere on it, but that's the BMW M1. Why it doesn't tell you that anywhere? Why is it called Street Beast? Is that just what it's called, I guess? I don't remember it being called that, but... That's from 95. The base is dated 92. I, I knew I had more of these around here. Oh, this is there's a story behind this Hot Wheels. This I had, this is probably one of my earliest memories of Hot Wheels. Uh, this, which, I forget what they call this one. I can't really read the bottom of it. Something, something Roadster. But anyway, it's dated 73. I would have been probably about four years old or so. I went to Ocean City, Maryland, and my cousin dropped this off of a pier into the bay. I believe it was this one. And he ended up, I was crying because I was just a baby or whatever. I was crying and throwing a fit. And he went out and bought another one identical to it. So that's that's why I have this. This is a red line too. And I played with it pretty hard when I was little. So that's why it's not mint condition. But I was looking for that. Uh, Ferrari 333 SP out of the pack. For whatever reason. This I had since I was little too. These are cool. These uh, Polistol. I don't know how you say it. Pola still. I don't know. It's made in Italy. They're very similar to Tamika's in the quality, I think. But this elf car is really neat. And um, thankfully, I didn't really play with it hard. But it's still in very good condition. Really cool. And this appears to be a slot car that I bought for whatever reason at some point in time. A Ferrari 512M. Here's a Matchbox F. 50, which is an early detail job I did probably 20 some years ago. So I painted in the headlights and a little horse emblem in the front, and not too bad for an amateur job. I did the black stripe, and not too bad, I guess, for when you're a kid. This is going to be a long video because this. This tub is just packed full of Hot Wheels. 58 Corvette, Toyota MR2. This paint scheme is cool. I have a bunch of different MR2s. This is nice to see because uh, I knew I had more of these around. This is the Dash for Cash Jaguar XJ220. And here's a standard XJ220 from uh, 1991. The other Dash for Cash is dated 97. But this one's, I like the color combination of the gold wheels with that dark blue is really cool. So, that, I'm glad to, I'm glad I'm finding, that was my daughter dropping something above me. I'm glad I'm finding a lot of these. Uh, Olds 442 in a Blue Streak series, which is from 96. We have the toilet from 98. 98, I can almost bet that's going to be the last year you're going to find in this box. So, like I said, 19... Probably 19 years since I've uh, looked at anything in this box. Avis Quattro. '96 Radio Flyer Wagon. A Panos out of the pack for whatever reason. Um, Ferrari keychain I had since I was a kid. Looks like it got all gross and corroded. Not sure why I have that, but anyway, two uh, motorcycles, some toy cap guns. There for a while, I was kind of into collecting cap guns. That was probably 20 years ago, though. Was, get them out of the way here. Here's some more uh, NASCARs. I don't think these were made by. I think these were made by Racing Champions for Czech cereal. Now they're dated 2002, so at some point I must have opened this lid and threw stuff in here. Because I sure as heck don't really remember getting in this. And I knew, I knew I had another container. I just was upset with myself because I didn't know whatever happened to it. That could be thrown out. That could be probably thrown out too. It's an old Matchbox uh, fire truck in really, really good, good condition. Just got some dust on it. Little tiger tank for whatever reason from 
it's actually in still pretty good shape and I know if you pull on those rubber treads they're gonna probably just disintegrate but we'll get that out of the way now racing champions truck back to the actual cars that I'm interested in as well as I'm sure you guys are too 80s Corvette that's a beautiful color there and then custom Corvette 1991 and 1995 so the custom Corvettes from 91 the top one's 95 pretty cool Lexus SC 400 from 91 and we see 95 Camaro convertible I never understood these packs. Like, I have an old Corvette, almost looks like a 350Z back end here, but it's a Corvette front end and it's apparently front wheel drive. <laughs> never made any sense to me. Why is it a Corvette front wheel drive and it's doing a burnout? That made no sense. Makes zero sense to me. Uh, it's just 97 Corvette. That's really attractive, the color and that. The dark green, they have the taillights nicely done on that. And then Neat Streeter from 95. Got the old school looking wheels. 67 Camaro and Olds 442. This one's the Olds is from 91 and this one's from 95 if you're curious. It's interesting to see some of these I haven't seen in forever. Turbo Streak and a really 80s looking. So 95, 80s looking in a Mercedes 95 uh, SL. Another SL with the pack all discolored. 95. Classic Cobra, another one like I had in the other box, and that's a dated 91 pack so i have a lot apparently from 91 here's a they also like i was saying about the front wheel drive cars doing burn it's like an old Dusenberg or something there never never made any sense to me why they did that now this one here looks like a portion's doing a rear wheel burnout there but peugeot 405 which is an interesting casting it actually has clear clear headlights on the front of it and then a quick seller i have this one i showed in the other box this is so now I have duplicates of this Ferrari 308. Toyota MR2 Rally. That's from 1991 and then the Escort Rally. So now I have duplicates. Quite a bit of these now I have duplicates of. Here's some trucks. We have wheel loader and that's really heavy and that's from 97 and then Digger from 97. So I don't know how these packs got so dusty. That dig that top one's pretty heavy, the wheel loader one. These are goofy looking. Corvette Stingray 3, um, the ghostly cool speed seeker, whatever that is, and the orange one is hideous. This Pontiac Solsa thing is absolutely hideous. That is terribly ugly and the windshield is actually painted silver god that is ugly okay moving on <laughs> that's terrible buick wire wildcat two different ones red and green and a t-bird stock car it's a lot to look at here assault crawler that's interesting What's that from 96 and then uh uh, Range Rover in a hideous pink, pink scheme. There's another SL, another, another red Mercedes SL. Actually, the only red one. The other ones, were, I guess, were different colors. I have apparently a lot of these, these Audis here. I must have liked them. Audi Avis. There's a red one, and then a dash for cash, like I had in another box in the, another video. So I probably could put that with the chrome one. Here's a Panos in the package. So 90 from 98. Here's three chrome ones here. 57 Chevy. 
the Silver Series 2, the 40s Woody and the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. And here's the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile in its standard color. That pack is dated 1991, so that's an early, an early one in there. 59 Chevy Impala. So now I have, do have definitely two of those. Funny car. The Goodyear blimp. It says turn fins to change messages. And look, there's a tractor doing a front wheel drive burnout. <laughs> Makes no sense. Why would a tractor be doing a burnout? I have no idea. Makes zero sense to me. That is dated 1991. This is kind of wicked with the copper tone to this uh, Twin Mill 2 in the White Ice series is interesting. That is dated 96. Here's some more stock cars. We have Chevy Stalker and Buick Stalker with the tires sticking way out on it. It's kind of interesting. That's those. Uh, the Solar Eagle 3 Speed Blaster and a packet turned yellow for a reason. 70 Plymouth Barracuda. It looks like the car is originally orange with black interior. Here's some more in that in that uh, blue Hot Wheels colors. One's 97, the other's 95. The, you get the boat and then the funny car. Here's a, another white ice series one. This is splitting split in image two. So it's interesting to go back through these and look at them. Oh, well, now I have two of these now. The pink I always thought was kind of attractive in a weird sort of way that the Mustang Cobra and it says hatch opens on the back and then the 96 first edition uh, Dodge Charger in that. Oh, we got a lot of trucks here. I didn't realize I had this many trucks. Here's a, a Ferrari 348 puzzle for whatever reason in there. Okay, moving on. Uh, 98 is Super Comp Dragster from 98 Chaparral 2. The Dairy Delivery, which I have a bazillion of those. And customize, this is pretty neat. The customize C3500 Chevy Dually truck is cool. Ninety-eight Mustang Cobra race car and a Lakester from ninety-eight. Thirty-two Ford. I definitely now have two or three of those now that I know that I have a big stash here. Speed Blaster. Power Rocket. Rizzler. I'm not sure why I would have bought that because I really, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, fantasy cars, as you guys probably know. I've always sort of make fun of them. Skull Rider, which is goofy too, and Second Wind, which is to me looks like the uh, part two. I forget the name of it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Twang Thang. Another fantasy like guitar car, it's kind of weird. Salt Flat Racer and Way Too Fast. Well, let's start on this side here. We've seen Dodge Sidewinder, now I have a whole bunch of those. 65 Impala Low Rider. I know for a fact this is the only one I think I have in that color combination. It's different. 63 T Bird, I know that's, I have duplicates of that. This one's kind of cool, this uh, Dodge Caravan. It's different. Mercedes SLK, I have a bunch of those in yellow. Another Jaguar XK8 in green. And Jaguar D-Type in blue, I have several of those. And this, this I believe I bought because it has this hideous Pontiac thing in the pack, but it says Lexus SC400 on it. I think that was the reason why I bought that because it was an error. It's probably not worth anything. And I'm not a big 
big into the air cars and all that stuff, but I have a couple unusual ones here. The problem is many people can lie about those and I just, that's why you don't, I, I would be very uh, aware when you're buying air cars off of eBay or something, people can fake them easily. Another XJ220 Jag, that's an odd color combination. Probably should put that with the other ones. Dogfighter, fantasy car, airplane thing. Split an image two from 1992, and now I have two of those bugs in green. GM Lean Machine, which was, I guess, like a uh, looks like an MIT type study thing from that's dated 91. It's very unusual. I knew I had more of these Lamborghinis here, two more Diablos with two the wheel variations. And the Lamborghini Countach in white, which I was looking for one of them because I was thinking about redoing one and detailing it. It's from 1991. And then uh, the uh, 25th anniversary Countach, yellow. So now I have duplicates of all of them. But this I do not have duplicates of. And it's funny, Walmart 77 cents. That's pretty cheap. But it's amazing. You really haven't gone up a whole lot in price. Oh, here's a Lamborghini Diablo and a beautiful... A beautiful color. I didn't know I owned that one either. That's really nice from 97. That is neat there in that color. That's cool. That's that's cool. Glad to know I have that. Oh, here is another one of those Farfanugan Volkswagen Golfs. I didn't know I had. I knew I had some of them here. I just didn't know what happened to them. Um... We have a BMW M Roadster. I have a bazillion of those here on hand. 57 Chevy, which is interesting, the color colors of that. Pontiac Fiera 2M4. The 97, or the uh, Mercedes C-Class, which for whatever reason, I don't know, it was supposed to look like a Dale Earnhardt's car, or what the deal was with the three. Swing Fire, this looks like an old pack. From 91 and custom Z and hideous, hideous colors. So that swing fire pack looks really old. Like just the styling of it. But at least that it's in good shape though. We have a uh, 59 Caddy in the sports series, which is really ugly. 59 Caddy in a kind of a low rider paint style. A 59 Caddy in like a light purple color. I don't care for the wheel choice. 50, 58 Corvette Coupe in purple. Fifty seven Chevy. Fifty five Chevy. Fifty six Flash Slider. And Fat Fender Forty. Now these ciphers are glare. I'm trying to trying to keep an eye on the monitor as I go through these and make sure you guys can see them without a lot of glare. It's just difficult to film some of these and not get glares and have the dog bark and stuff too. Classic Packard in black. Kind of looks like a limit, um, kind of like a hearse, I should say. Hot Hub Series Suzuki Quad Racer. Proper Chopper, which is like a Baywatch. Looks like a Baywatch theme. That's probably from 91. Yes, 91. Hummer. Also from 91. And now there's a Jeep front wheel drive. Jeep front wheel drive Jeep aren't doing a burnout. Unless it's an all wheel drive burnout. And it's apparently being powered by nobody. It's just taking off on its own. <laughs> Their packs were pretty hideous compared to the packs nowadays. That the, the card art was absolutely atrocious. I used to be a graphic uh, artist, and so, I don't know. I used to make fun of their packs even back then. The Dealer's Choice Series. I think I showed all these before. I now have duplicates all of them. I'm not sure about the Corvette, though. 
Oh, we have dupe and I have an extra of that Mercedes Mercedes Unimog. Mm, what's with the one on the bottom? I don't care for these wheels. I know a lot of people like those wheels, but I never I never really liked that too much. But recycling truck. These are probably all from ninety one. Yep, nineteen ninety one. And the tractor. Our recycling truck's pretty neat. There's more trucks. We have a forklift with the old school front wheels. Peterbilt tank truck. The school bus. And Ramblin' Wrecker. I don't know how old this forklift. Probably 95. Yeah, that's what my guess was going to be. 95 or 96. Unical uh, 76 tank truck. That's dated 91 from KB Toys. Ford steak bed truck. Oshkosh snowplow. That's different. That is a huge beastly thing there. And street cleaver. Good humor truck. That's from 91. Interesting to... Here's a lot of these sets I've been missing. I was wondering what in the world happened to them. I'm finding them now here at the bottom of this box. Limousine. Two more of the Dodge Green Rams, which I've had. I have a bunch of those. There's another red and white Ram. And then another red F-150 long, long bed. And Race Team Series 3. From 96 Camaro race car from 91 Solar CX4 that's from 91 and 34 from 96 so. uh, this is two wheel variations of the Chevy 1500 which I picked up on that apparently back then that I bought two of them because they have two different wheels wheels on them uh, the top one obviously looks better i said earlier before i said in the other videos that i like the cruisers we got police cruiser another oldsmobile aurora and this one says city police and it appears to be a buick looks like a buick to me and then the bus the police bus so that's kind of cool to have all the all the police ones there. And I have Rescue Ranger, Ambulance, and police, another police cruiser slash, which is actually Fire Chief car. I'm not sure. It almost looks like, um, can't think of what it looks like, but anyway, there they are. I have some of these in my case that I've had since I was a kid, these. Which, if anyone wants to see that, I will film my carny case sometime. Oh, 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 I knew I had one of these. Cool, we'll get to that then. I knew I had some of those. Oh my god, there's another Porsche set. Um, Peterbilt dump truck. And Kenworth big rig. Both of them are from 91. In pretty good condition. There's another Thunder Roller and it gets in that 20 car pack with the same paint color. Ramp truck and another ramp truck. Yeah, I knew I had one of these sets. I talked about this set before that this was, you can get these for like really cheap on eBay now. This, then they're pretty detailed for, I think I've seen them on eBay go for $5. And this was probably a 20 20 25 dollar set at one time but it has a viper gts and then it has a uh we want to say the daytona coupe i guess that one is i forget what that is but they were numbered and you can you can find them really cheap cheap now on ebay which is kind of good thing if you're looking oh my god there's another, that's a good one to have. The 917 and the 1970 Le Mans 
livery. So now I have extras of that. That's good to know. I didn't know I had that. Maybe I could put that in my eBay store. I had a bunch of these extras too. The Porsche 550 Spider. Black Box Series. This was one I've been looking for as well. The white 930 Turbo. The only thing that really needs done to detail them up is the wheels need worked on. I almost bought one of those off eBay recently. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. There's a 143rd scale that the wheels bent on a uh, Ferrari 512M. I don't know why where that ever. I don't remember buying that. I'm not sure where that came from. There it is. Another another Carroll Shelby Hot Wheels set and with showed this before now apparently i own two of those sets i had no idea i owned two of them that's pretty bad when you own several of something and didn't know that you owned several there's apparently a, a afx mint in a box magna tractional uh, 512m ferrari didn't even know i had that and it might be going to my ebay store here i just bought one of these off of just bought one of these off of ebay recently that's, the, I probably could take the other out of the pack then. The, there's a final run 928. And then there's the final, the final run of the 911. I didn't even know I had that. I was going to buy one. Another, I was going to get one of them off of eBay. That's interesting. I didn't know I had. It's interesting. I didn't know I owned them. There was another uh, like giveaway car. It's sealed in a pack. Dodge of stock car yeah it's funny what you lose i didn't know this is cool here this beetle rsi made by auto art small scale that was not cheap i don't think either when i bought that originally i didn't didn't you know I owned it oops as i just i just dropped it on the floor nice i just broke the case oh well uh, great these things happen sometimes well i guess i could take that out of the case now that i just broke the broke that all up broke the case oh there's an or another uh, mint in a box afx ferrari 512m i don't remember even buying some of these dodge prowler pullback car Uh, it's another old, little auto art, and it's neat. The Murcielago Lamborghini. That's beautiful in the lime green. I've never seen one of those cars ever on the road. I saw a black one one time, but oh, I, see, I guess I see. Yeah, I've seen a yellow Roadster version. Getting gas recently, Pump, sitting and pumping gas. The, these are these go for a lot of money too now on eBay. This Porsche anniversary set this is the one to have out of the box if you ask me that and the silver 550 spider the 917 golf that alone when you pull it out of the box is probably that's a probably 50 dollar car but kind of cool to know that i have extras of some of this stuff um we have this thing here which was all apparently fell out of there but anyway uh, matchbox they have it in raw and then it's the viper gts there's a blue one on the top and they're pretty detailed i might as well just take them out of the box since it's already all falling out of there i don't know where this came from james dean Are they playing cards James Dean cards. I didn't even know I had those, but it's kind of cool. I might have to take the time to look at them sometime in photo cards. Uh, May it so fried testarossa. That would be kind of cool, detailed up. Like I just did the F40 recently. This I didn't know I had. I'm a huge F40 fan. This Matchbox, as it says, from 1994. One of 10,000 in white. It's kind of interesting. 
Ferrari 456 GT in Matchbox. I mean, I didn't even know it owned half this stuff. I got, I, I'm really shocked at what's all in here. Micro Machines Porsche set. That's kind of cool. And there's another Golf 917 in there. I do remember buying that in the store, 1998. That's kind of neat. Ah, me and my fingers I keep dropping stuff. The Porsche uh, Matchbox, large scale. There's my hand, so it's pretty big. It's bigger than 140. It appears to be bigger than 143rd. It says Kremer. Kremer car. Gripper pullback, unpunched card, has the martini livery on it, dated 1980 by Z and Z Toys. Corrado G60 front grill badge. I'm not sure why I have an extra of that, but that's kind of cool. Uh, May it's a 164 scale Porsche set. I probably should just take these out of the box. Matt from Walmart, three hours and seventy six cents. Another Micro Machines Porsche set, number nine. The other one was also number nine, but it didn't. They it has different different cars in there. Basic introduction to motor racing book. The 917 on the cover. Well, looky here. That's interesting. This is what these wrote. So these were sold at Toys R Us originally. This is what Alan from JG24 Diecast, I believe is his channel name. I don't have it in front of me off the top of my head. But anyway, he sent me and gave me two of these cars. And here I have two sealed these 993 turbo or the porsche cup racing cars and i have two sealed from rejoin from toys r us apparently wow that's interesting because that uh oh my god i have another set here these actually go for pretty good money on ebay did not know i had those there's a tyco race car Unpunched card. While we're looking at slot cars, it's, and there's another unpunched Aurora Porsche. Or Porsche G Plus race car. I remember those when I was a kid. They were the ultimate to have was the G Pluses. Didn't even know I had this either in the pack. That's kind of cool. I had was given a whole box of these in 19 probably early 80s this dukes of hazard i had i mean i had a box full probably like 30 cars and i gave them all away to kid other kids in my my class and stuff but some they didn't want them at one time Ertl was practically handing these out by the crates and giving them away and i there was there was a promoter at a big toy show and he just handed me a box of them, and I'm not kidding you, it was probably 30 in the box, which are probably worth some money now, sealed in the pack. So that was my little story there for the Duke's car. Uh, got a matchbox from 1985, and it's a 935K. Looks like I have a lot of Porsches down below here. Yeah, I knew I had I knew I had more of these these Matchbox Premier cars. It was reduced to two dollars and ninety cents. So that's pretty neat in the yellow, the F40. That one might be coming out of the pack too. I'm gonna have to rip some of these out. Saves a lot of space too. You get rid of them, take them out of the pack, and then you can you can enjoy them. Because I had I do remember these Cobras. I had two white white the white and the black Cobra. And then the Mercedes GTC. Sorry for the glare. Trying to trying to avoid that, but a 
Rock and Rod series Porsche 930 Matchbox Boxster and a Porsche GT 198 which I'm glad to see that I have this because this is the champion Porsche dealership in Florida with their livery and I didn't think I owned one of those I'm kind of glad now to find that because I did not know I owned that here's some more of those premieres a Camaro Z28 BMW 850i that looks neat in the red and then a Dodge Viper RT10 Might as well pull out the rest of those. Uh, here's all. See, I used to collect Vipers years ago. This is cool. This this Super in the gray is really nice. The red, red interior and gray. And then two more Vipers. You got the blue and the green. I didn't realize I owned all these Matchbox Premieres. This was when the must or the uh, Corvette came out in '97. For whatever reason, I don't know. I was buying a lot of '97 style Corvettes at the time. Comes with like a metal license plate. A lot of this stuff's probably gonna end up on eBay. Johnny Lightning, Chevy and Powell SS. I just saw one of them today sitting alongside of a road, parked in a cherry, the cherry color. A Revell. Oh, here's now I have two of those then. The Revell Chevy and Powell and SS, and then a Revell uh, Ford F 150 is a body style of truck I, I currently own. I've owned it for a long time. I have a 99 in that body style. Not that you care, but here's some more Vipers. We got Viper GTS and then our, our T10 Viper. Porsche 959 in like an icy blue color. That's pretty, pretty attractive. And then Porsche 911. Both of those are probably from yeah, 95, 1995. So I got to put them all with my Porsche stuff. This is the other. I mentioned this when I did the the Ferrari box set that I knew I had this here with the red F with the F40. Got the 308, 348, and the old Testarossa. And then a newer Testarossa. I knew I had this somewhere here. I just couldn't find it. It's dated ninety. I dated ninety three. So I knew I knew it was here somewhere. I just couldn't locate it. A little Herpa Volkswagen Corrado in silver. It's pretty neat. Like a almost like a goldish silver color. Another tractor, just like a Domus and the John Deere colors. I'll just tuck that with the other one here. And these pullback racers, I owned so many of these over the years. These made so that gave some to my daughter to play with. It's a 959. It's pretty, pretty cool in the green. Interesting. Some more of these. Premier ones, there's the Lamborghini Diablo in blue and the uh, Corvette convertible. That's pretty nice there. A Nissan hard body with a big motor in the back of it. That's dated 91. And then this uh, Tropical Series ice cream truck, which I believe I have that one. Another one. I think I have two of those now. Yeah, I used to collect Vipers. I've mentioned that before, and apparently this is where the Vipers all got to. Here's a made so 911 Carrera Speedster. The, like a 1989 body style. And then uh, 959 in from made so just crazy. I didn't realize I had all this stuff. Made so's Ferrari set, not too bad. 
There's the F40 that I just detailed recently. I think the casting is pretty, pretty well done on that. Their Testarossa casting is not bad either. That would be a good candidate to do as well. Convertible series matchbox. I think the only reason I bought it was for the, the Red Viper with the yellow rims. I thought that was kind of cool at the time. Your tastes change though over time. This is cool here too. AFX G Plus. Uh, the Ferrari 312PB. And see at one time they start putting them in these bubble packs. They got rid of the the other style of containers so they're kind of brittle these mirrors break off real easy i don't i really shouldn't have that stored in there apparently i paid 30 dollars for it at a toy show or something that's a lot of money another premier edition matchbox for 456 gt i will probably end up listing a lot of these eventually on ebay I don't know what else to do with them. There's a Klein, Klein Tools uh, pocket knife. It's a shame the coloring got all goofy on it. Looks like it was never even used. They're sharp too. Klein Tools are really good. It's an F1 car on it. A lot of these I've almost bought recently off of eBay because I was trying to replace ones I couldn't find. 911 Targa and the two colors variants. 930 in the 1991 pack. That's probably from 90, yeah, 91. The red and then the blue. Both are slant nose, slant nose Porsches or Porsche. Here's an old uh, 928 matchbox and that's got to be pretty old there that's that is 1980 i guess it's dated the bottom of the pack and then i have another one another 928 from 85 so what i should do is probably get protective pack for that one i do have just bolt some here i don't know where it's at but Uh, Majorette in that mover series I had shown these before. This is a Porsche 911 Turbo in that. I don't know. If, I might just yank them out of the pack because I'm not sure if I have have that in my collection. I did not realize I had all these Premier editions. This is just crazy. Um, Audi Avis. Corvette Stingray 3 Concept and this uh, Mazda RX-7 is really, really nice. That one is a keeper there and these other ones I could dump and not really feel bad about it at all. The uh, Racing Champions Viper GTS Coupe. I don't know where to go with some of these and put it over here. Racing Champions uh, Dodge Ram truck in the blue, the white stripes. There's another one of those premier ones of Viper GTS in red with white stripes. A giant Lightning Viper GTS. The stripes almost look like it turned like a pink color for whatever reason. I don't. I don't remember buying that, but. bunch of vipers we have two 1991s from hot wheels we have a limited edition matchbox one here shando apple blossom festival i don't remember 1994 another dash for cash and then a green rt10 matchbox Racing Champions Hot Rod, um, what is that, Dodge Ram, and then a Racing Champions Viper GTS Coupe in silver. You can kind of see what's going on here at the 
theme of lots of vipers here giant lightning racing machines viper that's kind of neat i don't remember buying that but there it is that's pretty cool two more early vipers from hot wheels too bad i didn't have these when i did my dodge video another one of the coops a small baby gts and 2001 Viper, which, like I said, if there's anything going to be in here, 19, 2000 or 2001 is probably going to be the last stuff to put in. All I had this since I was a kid. I just I kept it. it. was a car air freshener thing. It says a winning pair. And it's, <laughs> it's got a chick with nice knockers there hanging, lean out of her Ferrari 308. Doesn't really have a, has a little bit of a smell still to it, but I don't know why I'm holding on the. I hold on to stupid stuff sometimes. Another picture. I'm not sure why I'm holding on to some of the stuff. Uh, by Lazier, who he won the Indy 500 to one year. The hero card thing. I don't know why I have some of the stuff that I do. Well, this was in 2001. This was a down at Sebring race. It was a driver. I forget his name. He autographed my this ticket, but I don't know the guy's name. So can't even sell it because I don't even know the guy's name. Can't read it. Porsche 928 and a pearl white. Ferrari at 40. Ferrari F40, Ferrari P4. I knew I had one of these in red. I said mentioned that before in the other video. I knew it. I knew I had one. Just to, didn't know what happened to it. Another Viper, silver. Ferrari 308 and an interesting copperish brown color. There's a red Enzo. And a Ferrari F50. I don't even know I had that. There's a treasure 1990. So let's say 99. Is that what that says? 1990. Dated 98, but 1999 treasure hunt. They're not, they're plastic tires. They look like rubber tires. Treasure hunt. Testarossa, another silver F1 or F50. I had one as I showed in another video. Well, we're slowly getting to the bottom here. A F40 card thingamajig. Another micro machine set. Uh, this is a Ferrari number eight set. Ferrari Shark Nose. And this is one I was looking for too. Um, this, I knew I had more majorettes here. It says uh, it's a 282 F1 Ferrari. It's not real detailed, but it is in the pack and it's sealed. I don't know what these cartoon ones are. That'll probably be going on eBay. Honda. And it looks like a Supra. Yeah, Supra cartooners. They're, they are from Hot Wheels. Yeah, two Honda Civic SI and a Toyota Supra. It's pretty goofy. They had the, the one from Fast and Furious there. i um, never seen that, but I don't know why I bought those. It's not, really not my taste. So they'll probably be going on eBay. Yeah, I mentioned I had the white. I knew I had this Testarossa somewhere. This I had for a long time. Nineteen eighty-six. Okay, scene wrapping this up here. And with this little made to Ferrari three forty-eight keychain, probably could get rid of that.
some Matchboxes uh, 308 and an F1 car from probably 80, 85 and 83. This one's 83. Hot Wheels Mini Formula Racers Ferrari set. I have a little video about these these Mini Formula Racers on my channel, and they are made by Hot Wheels, believe it or not. They're dated '89. It's dated, but the pack's all yellowed on it. Some more Matchbox. Uh, there's an F40 and it has the rubber tires, and then this. Hideous gold colored F40 and another 456. There's one with another one of those power mates at power pullbacks at 50, and you it's uh, I think they're like 132nd scale or something. I forget what scale they are. And a Buddy Lazier Racing Champions car, which was uh, autographed by the by Buddy Lazier. And the team owner. So I forgot I had that. That's pretty cool. So that's it. And uh, thanks for sticking around and checking it out. And let me share. This is pretty much, I think this is the last of my 20 year tubs, I'm going to call them. So thanks everybody for sticking with me through that. And it was a long one. And until next time. We'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.